I am with the winner, Taylor Fritz. That felt like a must-win match for Team World. Did it feel like that out there? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a, there's a really big difference between 6-2 and 4 also. Uh, both of us were definitely feeling the nerves out there. And, uh, you know, I love being in these positions, and I'm just happy I could bring it for the team. Obviously a tough loss in the match tiebreaker in the opening match, but an absolutely flawless start. You came out and you looked supercharged out there. What was said by John and the team before you got underway? I was just so, so locked in, ready to go. You know, I live for, like I said, I, I live for these moments playing in uh, this kind of atmosphere on, in such an important How match. How good is the atmosphere in here, by the way? It's incredible, you know, uh, especially... Especially... Uh, with me still being on, uh, you know, Team World and us being in uh, in London, the the support was still amazing out there, and it, yeah, it felt great. How nervous were you at eight all in the tiebreaker? Oh, what? How nervous were you at eight all in the tiebreaker, having been eight four up? Yeah, um, it was tough. I felt like uh, when we switched sides, eight four. Thought I actually played the point really, really well. Hit a good shot, just missed it. Um, then he hit an ace. And then I felt like I played another point well. So. Um, the only one I really want back was that forehand at 7-8, but uh, I told myself to just regroup, dial it in, uh, just, you know, don't give it to him, and, you know, got through it. Got to tell you as well that this is the best position that Team World have been in after the two matches of the second day as well. Of course, you guys are hunting your first win. This is looking good for you. Yeah, uh, you know, so far so good. It's, uh, it's obviously a good sign, and this is the first year we haven't really... Uh, dug ourselves a, a deep hole kind of mid day two going into day three so uh, we still got doubles we got doubles coming up we got foe coming up uh, we have a lot of our strong uh, strong matches still to come and Taylor just finally I got to say on the ATP tour we've obviously got a little bit of uh, on-court coaching now I know you've not been a fan of that but when you're sitting there with John McEnroe and the team you don't stop talking. You don't stop talking about what's going on on the court. Why do you hate on-court coaching when you seem to love it so much? So, well, I mean, if we're paying attention to what I'm, what I'm saying on the bench, it's more me talking and not, you know. Uh, I'm, a very, I'm a very analytical person, so I love to, you know, speak my thoughts if I have people to talk to and then they can kind of confirm or tell me if they th think something different. I hate on-court coaching because I, I feel like I can be analytical in my own head, figure it out myself, and... I just think it's up to the player to figure it out for themselves. Well, you figured it out today. Congratulations, and congratulations to Team World as well. Thank you.